there you go. <laughs> What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. Yeah. Yes, that's right. Thank you. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Please and thank you. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Yeah! Okay, okay. Party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. All right, Ken, folks, what are we talking about today, folks? Man, oh, man. So, how was your weekend? Good? Good weekend? Good. Well, so now the media is busy. They're trying to smear Mr. J.D. Vance. Did you know he's weird? The agenda, the way they talk to people, the way they address people. It is bizarre. It's, it's weird. It is weird. I don't think Kamala Harris is going to pick anyone uh, as weird and creepy uh, as J.D. Vance. Uh. It demonstrates and shows us exactly what he believes in by selecting a J.D. Vance, who is um, quite, um, <laughs> you know, as the campaign said, weird. Donald Trump seems to be drifting away from his own nominee because he's had so many weird views. These are these are weird people on the other side. Unfortunately, Vance's weird views are not even winning praise from within his own party. Donald Trump and his weirdo running mate and the Republican apparatus behind them will regroup. It's not just that he said a lot of things that are weird. It's not just a, 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 a weird style that he brings. It's that this leads to weird policies. Yeah, that's the media. The media montage of how weird J.D. Vance is. Mm-hmm. Now, Mr. Vance said a throwaway line through two, three years ago about cat ladies. Effectively run in this country via the Democrats, via, via our corporate oligarchs, by a bunch of childless cat ladies who are miserable at their own lives and the choices that they've made, and so they want to make the rest of the country miserable, too. Okay, crazy cat ladies are trying to run the country. OK, now he came back and tried to clear it up, but they don't want to hear that two, three years ago. Meanwhile, we have Miss Harris, who said some fantastic stuff throughout her years, but it's being scrubbed off the Internet. You can't even find half the things she says now because it's being scrubbed. And now we got the fact checker saying, oh, no, she did not say that. And you try to pull up the proof. They don't scrub it off. So whatever. So that's all they have. They're trying to make J.D. Vance looks weird and whatever Harris believe it's normal, right? Now, when she kicked off her campaign, she goes on to RuPaul Drag Show. Everyone, it's Kamala Harris. Each day, we are seeing our rights and freedoms under attack, including the right of everyone to be who they are, love who they love, openly and with pride. So as we fight back against these attacks, let's all remember, no one is alone. We are all in this together. And your vote is your power. Yeah, so that's normal, right? So Kamala goes on RuPaul's show. And just a few weeks ago, RuPaul's show had this normal guy who had his Breast chopped off in a bag with arms. <laughs> Just take a look. Take a look at this. It is. Yeah, so that's normal, right? And not to mention the Paris Olympic opening. Yeah, I can't show you the video because they flagged it. But what? That's normal, right? This is the same party who 
appointed a DEI Supreme Court. Ms. Jackson, if you're nasty. We've come a long way to Justice Brown Jackson. We came in to celebrate Justice Brown Jackson. We came from Harry and Sojourner to Justice Brown Jackson. Out of B. Wells and Dr. King. Justice Brown Jackson. Shirley Chisholm. Justice Brown. can't define a woman. Can you provide a definition for the word woman? Can I provide a definition? Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. I can't. You can't? N not in okay. this context. So I'm not a biologist. The of the word this is the same party who's trying to make men swim in the girls' team. Question on the big election topic, transgender rights. Former Governor Nikki Haley and presidential candidate says, quote, the idea that we have biological boys playing in girls' sports, it is the women's issue of our time. Does the president agree that this is a women's rights issue? So we've talked about this many times. This is the Title IX uh, specifically. Uh, look, um, and again, we've talked about this multiple times. It's a complicated issue, and there are a wide range of views on this. Uh, the Department of Education proposed a rule, as you know, uh, that gives schools the flexibility to establish their own uh, athletics uh, policies. And so while establishing uh, guardrails, right, to, to prevent discrimination against transgender kids, and that is something that is in incredibly important uh, uh, that the president wants to make sure that we also uh, do that as well. This is the same party you don't know which bathroom to use. Signal here reporting to you from the 2016 Democratic National Convention in Philadelphia, where I am standing here outside a gender neutral bathroom. The issue of gender identity in bathrooms has become very controversial this year, with the Obama administration even stepping in. We decided to go out and talk to voters to see how they feel about this controversial issue. I guess we should get rid of men's and women's rooms, pretty much. This bathroom issue is completely ridiculous. You can pee wherever you want to pee. I don't think it should be an issue. It should be a non-issue. And I identify as a man. I am a man. I was born as a man. But those who have chosen to identify in another way because of their biology shouldn't have to be defined by other people saying you belong in there or you belong over there. <laughs> All right, guys, it's story time. When uh, Stacey Abrams was running for governor in Georgia, um... My wife came up to me. My wife was anti-political. She did not vote at all. And then when she heard that Stacey Abrams was running, she comes up to me and asks, what do I think about Stacey Abrams? And of course I said, hell no, I'm not voting for her. And my wife was like, well, she's black and she's a woman and we need change. And I'm like, no, she don't have any kids. She don't know what the hell we going through. But she's talking about abortions and Planned Parenthood. She don't have any kids. When we was going through the COVID situation, <coughs> we was locked down with our kids and trying to find and trying to teach and trying to keep their mind occupied. She's over there having fun. Miss Stacey Abrams. Okay, so she don't know what the hell we were talking about. She don't have any skin in the game. The same thing with Miss Harris here. Miss Harris don't have any kids. Yes, yeah, she's a stepmom, but she didn't raise those kids. Those kids did not come out of her, so she don't have a bond with those kids. Okay, so that's the reason why I'm not voting for Kamala Harris. She don't have any kids. She don't know what we're going through. And so J.D. Vance point that out that she's a crazy woman. She's a crazy cat lady. Wow. You cannot be almost 60 years old, Miss Harris, 60 years old, and you cannot control your laughter. <laughs> you laugh like the Joker. What is that? What is that? You can't control that? Imagine... Putin is across the table with you, and he says, 
an uncolorful joke. You gonna do this? Come on, man. We don't need this type of people representing us. So this is why J.D. Vance should stay on. Mr. Trump, I know, if you want to to listen to my advice, keep him on. Okay, it's driving them crazy because they can't stick nothing on you. And they're trying to deflect what's going on with Kamala. So they're going after J.D. Vance. We're not voting for the ticket because of J.D. Vance. All right, we're voting for Mr. Trump. Okay, so keep them on there and let those cat ladies go drive themselves crazy. It's like catnip. Anyway, that's my thought for the day. If you guys got any value on my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends and tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> All right, all right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you weirdos, get your ass off my lawn.